How much I spent in a day in Las Vegas. Limo 150. I booked one of the most expensive rooms at the Aria. Check it out. And when you walk in, you immediately see this view. It's a two bedroom penthouse on top of the Aria. That's why it's called the Sky Suites. $2,500 a night. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, tub and shower. Check out this toilet. It does all kinds of crazy things. <laughs> Salt and ivy for a little breakfast. Of course, you know my favorite. I had the Eggs Benedict. Mmm, delicious. Back to the room for a little quick outfit change. You know, MCM down, baby. Went to the spa because I needed a little boost. So I went and got a B12 shot, you guys. 90 bucks. Woo! I'm on top of the world, baby. Now let's go look at this Birkin bag that they have in this random store. I didn't like the color, so I didn't get it. So the Sky Suites has its own separate pool from the Aria. It's beautiful. I had a little cocktail in the pool, about 18 bucks. Off to catch for dinner, one of the hot spots in Vegas. Beautiful decor, fresh seafood. I actually got the catch roll. Grand total for a day in Vegas, about 3,100 bucks. Take the trip, buy the shoes, eat the cake. Yeah, yeah. What I spend in a day as a talent manager in LA. Uber to Rodeo, 75 bucks. First stop, Christian Dior Dior. You know, I just walk right in. They got this new saddle bag. It's like a gunmetal brush metallic, loving it. These shoes, y'all know everybody got these. Every rapper has these. I had to go ahead and get me a pair too. I need to fit in. Hey, get it. Hey, hey, hey. I popped into the historic Beverly Wilshire Hotel for a drink. You know, the film A Pretty Woman was shot here. It was some type of vodka top with champagne. Bomb. Next stop, Prada. Are you proud of me yet? The sales associate was super nice showing me all the new gear that came in. I came for these though. These are the Prada Cloud Bus Thunder sneakers with the gradient. Look at that, like a midnight blue to purple. I love them. Surprisingly lightweight. They hooked me up with some champagne because you know I'm a VIP. You know you got to walk out with class. Louis Vuitton up next. This scarf had me feeling like a caveman, but this jacket though. This jacket was about seven racks. It had so many different pockets. These LV slides were $650. My grand total was about $3,500. Work until expensive becomes cheap. You deserve the best. Go out there and get it. Yeah, yeah. What I spent in a day in Las Vegas. Headed straight to the Venetian, got one of their best rooms. It's called the Executive Wellness Suite. It's about three grand a night. It's on the top floor. It's giving very regal royal vibes. It comes with a jacuzzi tub, a shower, a gym, and a sauna. Time to go shopping. First stop, Louis Vuitton. If you purchase this cologne, they actually etch your name in gold on the bottle. You see that there? I had the sales associate pull down this amazing Louis Vuitton bag, about $2,600. Go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. Off to Chanel next up. Let's see what they got in here. Some cool new bags. I love these sunglasses. I actually came for these ones in particular. They were $600. Bucks. It's very rare for Chanel to make men's items, so I copped these shoes for about $1,200. Spin a check and get it right back off to Hermes next. I came for a classic men's item, this H bracelet. Why would I choose between this one and that one when I know that I could have both? I got a little hungry, so I decided to go to the Michelin star restaurant Picasso with their three-course meal, starting off with some scallops, a little foie gras, and the finishing with some sea bass. Total, about 10 grand. Attract wealth. You'll get more money if you stop focusing on the lack of it. Yeah, yeah. How much I spend in a day? Coffee at the Cosmo, about 20 bucks. Big black Uber, $50. Time to go shopping. First stop, Alexander McQueen. Half the time I don't know what I'm looking for, but this time I came for these. 850. Socks were another 100. Next up, I hit up Gucci. You know I don't wait in line because I'm a VIG. Don't mind me, I'll be heading to the jewelry section to pick up two pieces. First off, this Gucci chain link bracelet, and I got this Gucci double G ring. Spent about 800 total at Gucci. Balenciaga up next, baby. Let's see if they got anything new. Okay, they got some new sock shoes. Okay, some new triple S's, cross trainers. I tried on these, not for me, but this right here, the triple S with the Balenciaga logo all over, copped it. Had to get some socks. You know I got the red ones to go with it. Oh, all that shopping and then worked up an appetite. So I decided to go to Lemongrass and get me some Thai food. Great curry chicken with rice. Delicious and affordable. Room at the Cosmo, about $1,200. Grand total, $4,700. They say we're meant to live life abundantly. And that's all I wanted you to see, that this was attainable. And you can have it and you deserve it. What I spend in a day, price at the end. First, we are going to Fendi, free champagne for the VIPs, you know. They got a bunch of stuff laid out for me. What should I choose? I don't know. What do you think about this outfit for four grand? Is it worth it? I'm going to check out some accessories. Ooh, look at this necklace. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this bracelet. Hmm, where should I go next? How about Burberry? Yep, let's go. I think I see something here. I like this cape for 1300 Definitely have to try it on. Ooh, they brought me some water, Burberry water. Ah, the taste of success. Definitely getting their sales associate. Hold that to the back for me. Okay, now we're going to try on these shoes. I'm feeling them. They're about a grand but I want to get these white ones instead. We are in one of my favorite stores. That's right, Gucci, baby. What can we get? Something for the dog, maybe? Yeah, yeah, why not? Oh, look at this for four grand. This dog bowl, ridiculous. My dog, Diddy, has to get this harness and leash for about a grand. Does he deserve a $7,000 dog bed? I don't know. Phew, I'm tired. Goyard is super strict. I'm gonna try to sneak some footage. You guys, I just skipped the line like a VIP. Yeah, uh oh, the people waiting in line getting mad at me. Oh, they gotta let them in. Goyard, 
dog bag for Diddy? Mm, nah, I'm gonna get this blue card case and this blue bag. All right, now get your calculators out. It's time for the grand total. How much did I spend? A slight six racks. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. You, yeah, you. Yeah. What I spend in a day. Let's go shopping, guys. I'm bored. Uber to Beverly Hills, about $75. First stops, we're going to Saks. Look at all these shoes in here. I'm not really seeing nothing I like, but I like these JW Andersons, the all whites, the silvers. Mm, let me try them on. Nah, I'm getting the black and gold. I got them everlasting rack Saks fit. I could spend a whole day in it. This bag was 50% off, and here's the receipts for you haters who be saying I be having empty bags. Bam, bags full right there. What's up now? Stay hydrated, never thirsty. You guys, this Celine jacket is crazy. I feel like Michael Jackson. Let me get up out of here before I spend my kids' college tuition. I've heard about this little cafe inside of the department store. Ooh, let's check this out. Hmm, let's look at this menu. What should we get, guys? I'm trying to wash my figure, so let me get that sesame uh, salad. Cheers to all my bosses out there. Service was slow, but when I tell you this bread with the olive tapenade, on, mm, chef's kiss. Then the salmon salad with the avocado and this dressing. Oh my gosh, amazing. About 65 bucks, not bad. Stay hydrated with my Evian facial spray. Is this what I think it is, Louis Vuitton? Oh, yes. Yo, look at this exclusive Virgil piece. One of his last things he designed in the collection. Crazy. It's got the strap. And these bags are ridiculous which one of these would y'all get this one i will not be wearing since i live in la ah uh, but this is what i came from i love a good crossbody and this is the everyday piece i keep my receipts oh, wow, you really some damage today. okay what's gonna be our final destination guys uh chanel all right let's do chanel it's right here uh, -uh they trying to make me wait in line nope i'm walking right in oh i like these pieces over here what about this little bag what y'all putting in this bag let's look at some chanel brooches you know i love a good logo what y'all think about these pieces i'm gonna get this one about a buck fifty for the assistant I dropped about five racks. Success comes through those who act. Yeah, yeah. What I spend in a day at dinner in Vegas. Joel Robichon has like a three month wait list. This is how they serve their bread. I hope y'all are ready for these 15 courses. Let's go. First up, caviar with king crab. Look at the edible gold. Up next, three different salads. I mean, I fell in love with this presentation. It was delicious as well. Look at this though. Sweet and sour lobster with the turnips. Nice savory salad to finish. Next up, three appetizers. Crispy seared duck. Whew, hang in there. This eggplant soup thing was surprisingly scrumptious. Creamy truffle risotto. More gold. What do you call the course after appetizer before entree? I don't know. This is like a root vegetable and a salty miso broth. The luxurious langoustine. Phew. This fresh seared scallop was one of my favorites. Entree presentation fit for a king. Fresh out of the ocean fish. I love the sauce that it was in. Up next, this veal cheek was so succulent. With a side of silky and soothed mashed potatoes. Finishing off with a fruity dessert, the coconut foam and passion fruit ice cream really complement each other. This sweet work of art was like chocolate and cherry, so amazing. How much for a luxury dinner? About 1400 bucks. You, yeah, you. Yeah. What I spend in a day as a 32 year old talent manager. Eggs Benedict, 40 bucks. SUVs, black on black, $55. Couldn't decide between these Versace pillows, so I got both. <laughs> 600. Woohoo, look at that line at Gucci. We don't wait. We walk right in. Let's see what they got. Gucci flip flops, I need those. 320. Oh, these are new. Copped them, 390. Love these high top tennis shoes, 770. Accessory time. Silver and black Gucci belt, 495. Shopping assistant, about 100 bucks. Another one, 35 bucks. Fendi facts, about to go spend some racks. Let's see what they got. Okay, some cool tennis shoes. I see it. I like these right here, 770. I needed a new bag for 1550. Had to get the sweats to match the shoes, 1350. I'm feeling lucky I hit up the high roller table. You know, the little craps, I lost five grand. Look at me, pitiful, but I made the best of it and got a $100 massage. Finished the night off with fresh lobster at Water Grill. This was about 500 bucks for the dinner for a grand total of $13,172. Every morning, you have two choices. Continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase. LA to Miami on the train in three days. Here's what I spent. So I don't really like to fly unless I have to. This is why I booked this train ticket. It was about $2,000. Of course, I went first class. I have a private room here. This bed folds down and it turns into a bedroom at night. The views were spectacular. There's a 12 hour layover on the train and you can't stay on the train. So I decided to take an Uber to a hotel, Le Pavilion downtown, charming French hotel. Had to upgrade and get the king size room. I was a little thirsty. So I decided to stop at this little bar around the corner. So when you book first class, they actually drive you around in these little golf carts the whole time. This is like a Cajun shrimp and rice. Pretty good. All the meals were free on the train when you book first class. I think I'm just going to buy a golf cart to be driven around in from now on. Finally made it to Miami. I'm staying at the fabulous Mondrian Hotel. Look at that pool. It's giving tropical vibes, so I decided to get a mojito. My brethren, I've everything for sale. Bumped into Slim Jimmy and bought him a bottle for his birthday. Grand total for about $5,700. We're put on this earth to live life to the fullest. They say in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. What I spend in a day as an influencer in LA. Uber, 65 bucks. I headed straight to the Beverly Center. Into Dolce & Gabbana. Check out this bag. These shoes were like candy-coated paint. I came for these, though. Glittery. I feel like, uh, what's the girl's name in the Wiz? Dorothy or whatever. 
out of Dolce Gabbana, headed straight to Versace, Versace, Versace. Check this out. This is my twin right here. I'm going to marry her. Boom. Came for these shoes, though. 650 you know, something slight. Then I had to move into this robe over here, something you can just have a little puff puff in if you feel what I'm saying. Out of Versace, into MCM, came for this bucket hat, bussing. This little thing was funny. Uh, silk shorts, because you know I got to keep it sexy. Uh, then I came for these slides as well. These were about 275 Time to do my money dance. Hey, hey. All that shopping, I worked up an appetite, so I headed to Yardbird. Double Grey Goose chilled. Mac and cheese bussing. The fried chicken, when I tell you it was so crispy, and they give you the sauce to pour on top of it. Oh, my God. Creamy and cheesy. Grand total, about 3800 bucks. Life has no limitations, except the ones you make. You, you. What I spend in a day from Vegas to L.A. First off, I'm checking into the Cosmo at this $1,000 per night, two-story Lanai suite with private jacuzzi outdoor terrace upstairs to the bedroom amazing i ended up ordering some salmon and some mac and cheese no casino action for me tonight i'm heading straight to the spa i needed a little bit of relaxation stuff so i ended up getting these masks for about 250 quick outfit changed in uber to the club yep i ended up going to dre's that night my client jabrizi had a table so it was free skip the line with that little pre-check thing for 70 bucks a year free food and drinks in the delta sky club but it's a thousand dollars a year 1200 for two first class tickets but my privacy priceless Straight from the airport to Rodeo Drive at the Findace pop-up, they invited some of their top clients to come and preview their new collection. I ended up grabbing some really nice pieces. This jacket was crazy. Look at that Medusa logo on the back. With the Fendi logo, iconic. I love this shirt. This ring is totally my style. I only dropped about 1500 at Findace. What do you guys think I got? Grand total for the day, about 5800 bucks. If you want something you never had, you have to do something you never done. You, yeah, you. Yeah. How much I spend in a day to smell good. Creed. Headed straight to the back room for VIPs only. They had a little special surprise for me. This $1,800 super rare fragrance. You know me, I'm trying to touch everything. But he slapped my hand and was like, nope, I'll take care of that. Gave me a close-up view. It's hand-signed. Super limited. Checking out some of the new scents. I decided to go with the classic Aventus for men. And I also got the body wash to mash and a Silver Mountain body wash as well. Creed was founded in 1760 and passed down for six generations. They had a really cool tropical air freshener. Insider tip, be nice to the sales associate and they might give you a free sample. This is the little bag they put the samples in. So cute. This bottle was like 24 karat gold. Grand total to smell like a king, about 800 bucks. When you smell good, you're automatically more attractive. Yeah, yeah.